Hello everyone and welcome back into my kitchen. Today we're going to make stuffed squash. It's a really simple recipe. Let me show you what we're going to be doing. Alright, so let me show you our ingredients. This is called an acorn squash. Um, they're in season now because it's fall. So I figured, let me do a, a recipe with this. All right, also what we're gonna be using for this recipe, I have here one stalk of celery. I washed it and I cut it into small dice. I have here a quarter of a red onion. Again, I diced that up. I have here about a half a pound of breakfast sausage. And I also have here a quarter cup of chopped cheddar cheese. Have here some chicken stock that we'll be using later on. Garlic powder, black pepper, sage, and rosemary. Also, we're gonna be using cornbread. So what I did was I just got one of those, you know, those little Jiffy cornbread mixes. I just got one of those and made it to the directions on the package. Um, the only thing I did differently was I added a half a cup of cream corn to it. I baked it and what I did was I baked it in a thin layer because you don't want this to be gooey at all. You kind of want it to be dry and it's best to make the cornbread in advance like a day ahead of time which is what I did okay all right so let me show you what we're gonna be doing next so I'm taking my knife and I'm cutting this into slices and if you can see that it's actually quite pretty comes out like a little flower all right so I'm gonna keep cutting them and make as many slices as I can get. I'm doing it in about one inch thickness. And you really want to be careful when you're doing this because it's round and it can slip and you can get hurt, okay? Let me finish getting these um, cut and I'll come right back. Okay, so I have it all sliced and I'm just gonna take a spoon and get the guts out of the middle. And I didn't say before, but I washed and scrubbed the skin of this before we even started and dried it off okay let's take out the middle and then we'll move on all right so i have gutted all of my slices of acorn squash and what i'm gonna do is stick this in the microwave for about three to four minutes because I want to cut down the amount of time um, it'll cook in the oven so if I start cooking it ahead of time then it'll take less time in the oven okay all right so in the interim while I have my squash in the microwave what I'm doing is sauteing my breakfast sausage and what you want to do is keep breaking it up so it gets in it turns into smaller pieces. Now, you could make this dish without the sausage. I mean, that would be fine. I think it would still turn out wonderful. But I'm kind of gearing this recipe towards the holidays that are coming up. Um, so we're making it a little special today, okay? All right. Let's get this all sauteed and I'll come back. All right. So I have this sauteed and you remove uh, whatever excess fat may drain off of the uh, meat. And I'm going to go in here with about a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. Um, this here is my sage. This could be pretty strong so I'm going with a quarter teaspoon also. And rosemary, another strong thing, about a quarter teaspoon. All right. And then also the, the sausage also has some seasoning in it. So I'm taking that into consideration. All 
All right, now I'm going in with my onion and celery. I'm going to allow this to saute now so those vegetables can have a chance to cook and soften a little bit. All right, and then we'll come back. All right, so I think this has uh, cooked sufficiently. So what I'm going to do now is add it to my cornbread and allow it to cool down for a few minutes. All right, and then we'll come back. All right. So I have, I went ahead and um, just tossed the sausage with the cornbread. And it's pretty cool. Now, here's our squash. And if you see, I can now bend it. It's giving a little bit, but it still has really good structural integrity, which is what we want. We don't want it to fall apart. So I'm just going to go and sprinkle a little bit of salt on each of them. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing with pepper. I would say that was about an eighth of a teaspoon. Some black pepper. All right. So what I'm gonna do now is just stuff the filling into here. No, that's not what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I'm jumping the gun. I'm gonna add my. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let me add my cheese and give this a mix. And add the rest of the cheese. Give it another mix. And now we're gonna add some chicken broth. Not a whole lot. Because you, you don't want this to be soggy and have everything disintegrate, okay? I think that looks pretty good. Okay. Now we're gonna stuff it. <laughs> we're gonna stuff it into the squash. Alright, I'm gonna put some here in the bottom, like so. And what I did was I, I stuffed some of it into this uh, cup here just to give it a nice shape. Uh, and um, an ice cream scoop will also work very well, but I don't have one. So when you can't get grandma, you take mama. Okay, I'm going to go finish filling the rest of these and come back. All right, here they are. All set up and ready to go. And the main reason I added the cheese is because I wanted it to melt and kind of hold the filling together so it doesn't, you know, fall apart. And I think these would make a really good side dish. It's beautiful and it's definitely delicious, I can tell you. All right, into the oven we go. I have it preheated at 350 degrees. And since I've pre-cooked this, I would say this would probably take about 20 minutes. If you decided not to pre-cook it, it would probably take maybe about 35 to 40 minutes, okay? Into the oven. All right, so this has been in the oven for about 11 minutes and I have one tablespoon of butter. I'm just going to brush it, especially onto the squash and that's going to help it brown and get a really nice color for the last few minutes of the cooking, okay? I also want to say, while I remember to say it, uh, obviously if there are spices or herbs that I have used in this recipe that you don't particularly care for, of course, omit those, change it up. Uh, for instance, if I were making this for my son, I wouldn't put rosemary or uh, sage because he doesn't like the taste of that. So you can do the same. 
It's just that with stuffing, those uh, herbs go really well. All right, so I'm gonna stick this back in the oven for the last few minutes and then I'll come back and show you how they look. All right, our side dish is done. It smells like the holidays. Let me plate this up and I'll let you see what it looks like. All right, and here we have it. Look at how festive and inviting and delicious this looks. Imagine you have your turkey for Thanksgiving sliced up nicely. This is your side dish. Everybody's going to be very excited to taste this. Let me give you a close up. Look at this. Just look at this. Mmm. All I did was I garnished it with some sprigs of um, <clears throat> cilantro. That's all. Nothing fancy. Let me cut a piece and taste it for you, and I'll tell you exactly what I think about it. All right. I have a piece of the melon, and you can eat the skin of this, by the way. Uh, another reason why it's important to wash it very well. All right. I have a piece of the squash and the filling. Mmm. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you need to make this, this Thanksgiving or this Christmas. Let me tell you, people are going to love it and they're gonna ask for the recipe. Really nice, herbaceous, delicious, nicely spiced, just enough salt, small amount of sweetness from the cornbread. Fantastic. If you have a special cornbread recipe that you like particularly, you can use that too. You know, this is really a nice side dish for the holidays and I urge you to try it. I can't wait till you come back next time when I'll be making another delicious recipe. Bye-bye.